Hey girlies, it's Tammy, so I'm back at you with another video today and today we are going to be swatching, doing a tutorial and reviewing the Coastal Scents Hot Pot Eyeshadows. Now I have had these for ages, over a year at least and I haven't even hit pan but I use them so often. So the palette does not come like this, I did actually make this palette, I picked each individual shadow myself and then I put them into this palette. I also got the palette from Coastal Scents website, um, I did order from the USA website because I think, I'm not sure if Coastal Sense is available in the UK maybe they are I'm not too sure but I bought this from their website and I paid 99 cents per eyeshadow they were having a sale I think it was their Black Friday sale so yeah I bought them at 99 cents but originally they do retail for $1.99 so still very affordable but definitely better to get it on the sale so these are not the only hot pot eyeshadows they sell they do have like tons of shades on their website but these are the ones that appealed to me the but the most and these are the ones i wanted to fill up my palette with so yeah i did have to pay customs when it came but it wasn't a lot it was kind of like it was over a year ago so i'm struggling to remember but i remember it wasn't too much because i remember thinking the overall kind of purchase including shipping customs everything like that was very reasonable um yes yeah, so i was definitely very happy with my purchase plus here we are a year and a half later i'm still damn yeah i'm still loving the palette they are magnetic um so they just slip right in like that but they do pop out as well so you have like a little slit right there to slip your finger in and pop it out if you need to say the names so i'm just going to show you some swatches now and then i'll be back so we can do a tutorial Okay, so I hope you enjoyed those swatches. Let's jump in and create a look. So I think you can see from the swatches, like the shimmers are absolutely gorgeous. The mattes don't swatch that well. They're quite patchy, but on the eyes, they apply flawlessly. Um, my most used shades out of this palette are the two purples right here, the two reds right here, and then the two browns over here. They are my most used out of the whole palette. So I will list the shade names in the description box down below. I will go like from this way, that way, that way, and then the bottom row. So yeah, if you want to know any of the names, they will be listed in the description box. So let's do a tutorial. What should I start with? Hmm. It's only fair to start with my favorite, which is the red, and then we'll go in with a purple. Um, so I'm gonna start with this red here, which is called, it's called Vibrant Red, and then the red next to it is called Pomegranate Red. So they are a tiny bit different. This one's a tiny bit more vibrant, so I'm gonna start with this. So I'm gonna start this in my outer V and then slowly bring it into the crease. And do you see how pigmented? Oh my gosh, I love these. For 99 cents, I have not bought any better eyeshadow because 99 cents translates to, especially back then, before we left the European Union, <laughs> Back then, um, 99 cents was literally like 50p or maybe even less than that. So these eyeshadows would basically cost me 50p. So that is an absolute bargain. So that was one dip into the eyeshadow and I've literally just done my whole transition crease area, which is amazing. And they actually blend really, really easy. I would recommend kind of placing the color first and then blending. So I'm placing right now. And then once you get a little bit of product left on the brush, uh, start blending up. Or you could even wipe off your brush if you get too much pigment like me. When I sat down to do my makeup, it was sunshine outside. I thought, let me film this quick so I can take the kids to the park. And now it's thunder and rain. Good old UK, huh? So next I'm gonna go in with a purple and I'm gonna use this bright purple right here. And it is called, it's called Deep Grape. So I'm gonna use that on my outer V and a little bit in the crease as well. The pigment on these guys, I, I, well, I can't deal, well, I can deal, but. <laughs> so once again, one dip into the shadow has managed to do both of my eyes. And then back in with the brush that I had the red on, blending the edges. My mirror is pretty far away from me today, so I can't really see if my blending skills are on point, so excuse me if they're not. Also, there's no extra product on this brush. I'm just using whatever is left over on it. 
to blend this purple out. Okay, so just for fun, I'm gonna take a dab of the blue. I'm not quite sure how this is gonna go. I'm gonna take a dab of the blue and run a tiny bit of that through my crease. There we go. Ooh. Yeah, they come off a lot deeper than how they look in the pan, but that's okay with me. This blue is so pigmented. Then I'm taking a dab of the red shade that we first used and blend the edges of that blue. Okay, so I am loving how that is looking so far. I'm gonna go ahead and cut my crease. Um, I'm gonna do like a half cut crease today and then I will come back so we can apply shimmer. Okay guys, and I'm back. So I hope they are even. If not, it's too late now. So I'm going to uh, set it with a shimmer color before it starts creasing. Also, I do cut my crease above my actual crease. So when I open my eyes, you can still actually see the cut crease. Um, so what should I use today? This color looks super fun right here. I might try add a dab of that on like the inner corner. What should I do? Let me decide what I'm doing before I ruin this look. <laughs> okay, so what I'm gonna do before I go crazy is start with a gold on my kind of inner third and then we'll work something out in the middle. I'm thinking this shade because I'm loving that shade. Um, yeah, so let's go with that and see how it goes. Wish me luck. So I'm gonna start with this gold, which is called Sunset Gold and it looks like that. So I'm gonna place it on my inner third. Okay, so that applied very beautifully. It is a gorgeous gold. So I'm gonna do the same to the other side. To be honest with you, I wanna carry this gold all over the lid, but I feel like I've done a look like that quite a few times. Um, so we're gonna do something different. Okay, so here is for the scary part. Um, I'm gonna take this, let me swatch it first. Okay, I'm gonna take this color. Do you think it will go? I don't know. Okay, we're gonna do it. Do you know why? Because I'm a daredevil. <laughs> so I'm gonna take this shade and put it onto my middle half of the lid. Yeah, that's a gorgeous color. Okay, now the other side. Okay, so I'm actually loving that right now. Of course, we're not finished. I need to blend the purple with the green, but I'm just gonna work on blending the gold with the green first. So I'm gonna go in with a tiny bit of gold and kind of tap over where they overlap. Okay, then last but not least, I'm gonna take a dab of this purple and blend it on the outer V with the green. So I'm just gonna begin by tapping it on. And what you wanna to do to blend them is slightly drag it like that. So you are just tapping over the green and dragging it out towards the outer V and that should get the blend perfect. I'm actually really proud of this look. It's not finished yet, Tammy, calm down <laughs> before you ruin it. Okay, so that is the eyeshadow look complete using Coastal Scents eyeshadows. They are very vibrant, very, very worth the price because I paid 99 cents. I mean, I could not be happier. This might be one of the best looks I've done on my YouTube channel because usually when I do looks like this, I'd have to do it off camera so I can get precision right and yeah, today seems like a good day. So let me go off camera quickly, finish the rest of my face, and then I will come back to give you my final review on the palette, even though you probably already know I absolutely love Coastal Scents Hot Pots. Okay guys, and I'm back. So this is how the look has turned out. I decided to add a little like Dom Diamantes and a little bit of glitter underneath my wing, um, all for the gram, you know, all for the gram. Um, I hope you liked the look. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Let me give you my thoughts on the Coastal Scents eyeshadows quickly grab them, especially when they're on sale. I mean, if you can't wait for the sale, $1.99 um, is still very, very cheap. So there's 28 eyeshadows in here, and if I bought them at the $1.99 you know, price mark, then it would have cost me 56. Yes, I'm looking at the calculator, sorry. <laughs> it's been a long time since I left school. Um, yeah, it's gonna cost me $56 just for the eyeshadows, not including the actual palette. But when you buy them on sale, it costs $28 
for the eyeshadows and then of course you'll have to buy the palette separate but it's half price I mean I would definitely recommend waiting for their sale but at the end of the day that would mean wait until November which I think Black Friday falls in November which is not too far but it's still a little bit further so maybe if you want to grab one or two eyeshadows I would definitely recommend doing that at the £1.99 sorry, $1 mark but if you want to grab a whole palette like this definitely wait till they go on sale for $99 Ugh, 19 I can't get the currency right I can't because I, I'm so not used to saying dollars um yeah 99 cents you obviously save a lot more money so I would recommend if you want to get a big palette like this and customize your own shades wait until they do a big sale and yeah get them at 99 cents but they blend amazing they look gorgeous they're still very vibrant and I have actually been off camera for a while now because I had to do like a mini tutorial on the makeup revolution um, Instagram page so I have been off camera for a while and they are still very very vibrant gorgeous eyeshadows I could not recommend this enough um, yeah so that is it from me guys I hope you enjoyed this video if you did please go ahead give it a thumbs up please subscribe to my channel and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye!